PK are one map away from the main stage here in VCT. We start map two right now. And PK. A little bit early mid control from both of these sides just to open up this pistol around. Miniature will get tagged just a little bit off of Ban Sheriff. He will take full mid control. This is what we're talking about. The trap wire will be placed here. Miniatures. I mean, we're only like 30 seconds into this round. The dude is already <laughs> up in elevator. He's broken the trap wire. This is huge early on. The Knights, how do they try and re-aggress? They're going to go for this B main control. And all you know that miniature is there. So mini miniature is just going to be that nuisance. He can essentially just act like he's on the most blatant lurk on planet Earth. But instead, the spike is going up with them. But did they spot that player back up to word spawn? I don't exactly think so. But they're still going to be... A little bit more aware of B main than usual. Over towards heaven, though. This is what we were trying to wait for. It's the breach effect on this map. You don't need to be in the front line interaction by any means, especially in B heaven, where you could just launch uh, flashes and fault lines through the wall. Inks has still got his double flash, though, and that's probably the big scare. Miniature. Oh, getting tagged out. Scuba going up and down the ropes. Okay. All right, then. Still a double <laughs> flash in play here. The spike is locked in towards mid, and 30 seconds left. I mean, Bob is. She's got to wait for her team to try and make a move, try and draw attention. She will be reinforced here by Jaysung as Ban in the back lines has a Sheriff to play off of. Can take a shot, dash away, but one goes oh. out, another goes down, and this is looking good here for the Knights in the back lines. Yeah, Ban might need oh. another pick here, and Ban continues to go. A bit of trap wire. The Knights quick to adjust, holding down the mail room, playing off-site towards A. Ensuring that they have the rotation set and locked. So the Knights force up only three Spectres. Ziff is going to hold on to his pistol from the last. And same thing here for Ban. So Sonics, with just their five classics, have spread themselves out across this map. And the Knights will be looking in case they want to try and do a quick pop here. But I think Sonics, especially for Miniature, their goal is to try and get him an early pick, right? Maybe, that, mm -hmm. maybe his Headhunter with how good he's been so far with it. You know, open up a site, maybe present them an opportunity, but nothing. Knights are giving up nothing in terms of peaks. Yeah, uh, again, uh, it's exactly what you just mentioned. Miniature is just trying to hunt for a couple heads. The longer range interactions, the 1v1s. That's all realistically that you can hope for on a pistol round. This is actually pretty good. Control, at least up towards ramp. It's not exactly going to be a line of sight back into A. Miniature. Mm. He's been spotted by that cam. It's going to be a bit harder for anyone else to try to peek over because they've yeah. given up heaven completely. But Sonics, they at least have a have a hope of actually ending up on it. Left. Yeah, here's the thing though, is that Ian has slipped right in elevator. He might just sit here and wait. Oh, miniature. That no! is a huge shot on the Frosty. Frosty <laughs> goes down in the back, and that's a free spike blend. They're even it is. for heaven. Ian is posted up here as well. They're going to try and rep back towards A main and reinforce. This is a perfect retake setup here for the Sonic side. And Ian keeps faking that, that he has his camera next to him. Like, he has his camera, sure, but he's just faking that he's just tripping it. And I'm Ban going in. Yes, going to be able to get a couple shots. Oh, oh Ban! Oh, Ban! What a shot! That one in was absolutely ridiculous. Bob now in 1v3 with nothing but a classic. Going to be able to get some damage, but it's 15 HP. Yes, it's planted for him, but Ganks is covering. Scuba actually backs off of the spike, and everything's still full flashed. Oh my god, Bob. Oh my god, Bob. Mm -hmm. And the fact that Ban is so clutch in finding those two kills. That one PK the round entirely. It got so dicey when Miniature opened it up. But now Sonic's have done a lot of damage. This is no longer going to be a full bonus here. Or at least the optimal bonus that PK were looking for. Sonic's have their full buyback. It will be a little bit more proactive than what I would have imagined they would go for this mid play. A lovely flash goes in. Ban, is he good to find anything? Oh. No. Dashing into the open. Jay Sung and Bob able to keep Miniature alive here. And well, this is uh, not the predicament you wanted to be in if you're the Pittsburgh Knights. No. Sonics, one kill no. away from the prime gaming flawless. I, I, Sully, that's an amazing point. As a professional analyst, I would like to commend you on what you just said. Yes, I don't think this is a great position for the Pittsburgh Knights Thank by you. any means. Yeah, no problem. No problems. You know, we like to gas each other up Validation. Here. Of course. Of course. Frosty. Yeah, I don't even want to make a point in terms of validation. There is nothing valid about he's using a, a shorty. Got a shorty. <laughs> <laughs> he has a shorty. That's all I could say about this. He has three stars. Yeah, I mean, the, he's only just trying to take away the Prime Gaming Flawless at this point, trying to make that cash a little bit tighter. Because, again, you look at the cash for the for, for Sonics, not great by any means. They're what? just trying to build a Frosty posted up. <laughs> Keeping all five players alive for Sonics would be very ideal. So we're going to probably see an exit going, or apologies, an exit going out towards B-Mink. 
where they know it's 100% safe. You don't really want to risk anything here. Miniature only one off of that ultimate. Bob. Uh, a little trickier examples of takes. But here we go. Early on, Sonics. They do line themselves. They do stretch themselves. Actually, a, a bit more throughout the map. It's double mid coverage, but this is actually a bit different. PK, they play up the Viper over towards the mid side instead, wow. and it's actually double watch. Ban looking out. It's just going to be easy for Miniature. Miniature going in, not going to jump into the Mosh Pit, but instead is just going to take this top mid control. Yeah, for now, Scuba, though, has been able to maintain this control. Trademark does reveal. There is one towards Elevator, and for now... Sonics, they have full mid play here, and it looks like so, uh, the Pittsburgh Knights are going to try and take some control back here towards A ramp, especially. Yeah, both players, both Scuba and Frosty getting aggressive. This is a big play here. They're just trying to deny the opportunity that an A split comes through, leaving really Ziff to just hold that top heaven <laughs> area. And oh no, I am <laughs> caught looking at his phone and... Uh, <laughs> That's a free pick there. That denies full A play. Now they should know God. that the B hit is coming through. And this is Sonics' cue to make the exec. Yeah, I have no words. That that just sucks. I am caught all the way out in the open. 30 seconds left. Should have been in a better position with the camp, but that's that's just a basic thing to overlook, right? Miniature. Two players going into heaven, getting assaulted by this fault line. But Gangsta locked out away by the fragment grenade. Nobody else is here on this B site. They still have some stars to utilize on the other side. Actually, no, only one star to actually use. But they're actually going in with the Rolling Thunder. Are they looking to retake this? Miniature! This Miniature! Box? Yes, they are! Miniature in! Gets two! Can he get a third onto Zip? What massive space taken by Sonics. But look at this coming back. PK still have two more players. And they're fighting for this. Zip going in. One hole alone, essentially. Going in now into heaven. Grouping up with the last two players. Scuba and Frosty, who cleared out B main. This turned into... The best of scenarios, and now it's the worst of scenarios. Uh-oh. There goes that grab well. Crunchy's still waiting up for it. Has that spawn control and only going to be able to go on. Oh, the... Three different spots here, and Sonic's too much pressure to deal with. They will have another chance with the Torrid of Force being bought up on another full rifle round. But Miniature uh, in the fault line and oh. caught by Scuba in the Viper's Pit. That's not the best of starts. And that will deny any A control here early on. Trapwire as well towards Elevator, so they know that they have A on lock. You can see the idea, though, for Miniature, that was now or never in terms of ramp control, in terms of actually fighting for, you know, throwing up potentially this B approach for Sonic. So now the one player that they could potentially had in terms of that A contact is going all the way back over towards mid. Does have a bit of utility, so it's definitely going to help out with his take. But look how close Sonics actually are to execing. They're just going to go out B right here, right now. So out they go. It's Crunchy and Jason on the front sides, but you got to watch out for the back of sight. Ziff could get a couple of free shots right here, and yes, he does. It's Frosty and Ban that actually collect up two more. But Bob now stuck in. A have enough to buy into the next round of round number seven. The Knights taking their approach. Or apologies, Sonic's taking their approach now towards this A-side. Quick rotations, though, however. They leave mid open. They've tossed up the Viper and Viper's Orb. And Scuba, once more, is scouring with just a judge. Just a judge. That judge can do a whole lot of damage, my friend. Definitely catches Jaysung a bit. That's and Gangsta was actually able to That's wallbang lovely. because of it. And there you go. Gangsta clears out the other angle. And Sonic's... Now stuck onto only three players. They could still get on a couple of picks over here in heaven. Again, it's just sheriffs. It's just pistols. But again, PK can't give themselves to these interactions. There was a reason why Gangsta was running away. There was a reason why Scuba was just ducking and dodging and just trying to get one-offs. They don't want to lose these guns. They don't want to reinvest. But Sonics. Looks like they have taken full heaven control. The breach yeah. is backed all the way up. The Cypher's still waiting up for this. 45 seconds left, and this is just decent control now for Sonics, but what can they do with it? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, this kind of just feels like the same thing as that first map where the Knights have a really strong defense. Sonics are able to get a couple jabs here or there. And this is one of those jabs where they've been able to get space up and towards heaven. But a very well-timed Cosmic Divide as they know that that flash came all the way from A main. And Frosty, he's stuck in a corner, but, it, you know, rats who are stuck in a corner will always end up fighting. And Frosty putting on quite the show here, finding a double. One versus two is Scuba. Or apologies, Crunchy. He's left in a pretty precarious situation. No stars can get the spike down in the last go. 10 seconds, but he's got two different angles to look out for, and they're both approaching from just the left side. And they're both gone. Crunchy is now going to have to battle so hard to try Maybe to get any sort of 1v1 going here. Any of those early 1v1s, almost literally just trying to corral Sonics into where they want him 
in terms of that uh, that final two off angles or, or just crossfire that they finally have, Ooh. especially over in heaven where they still have three players waiting up. Mid control probably being taken by Sonics now. Yeah, so it feels like we have a retake set up on both A and B with this wall being placed here by Scuba. This will allow when the retake does come through, the rolling thunder in the back lines of screen should delay, force these players back, allow Scuba to stay alive and choose when he wants to take these fights. Man was forced off by a nebula towards his mid side, so it's allowed Sonics to just slip through. And there's no trap wire here. Mm -mm. There's hardly any util leaning towards this elevator side, even both heavens as well. It's very vacant at this point in time. And so very weird. Sonics are looking to just burst and pop into this A site through the heaven area. Flash assist possible here for Gangsta. And a fault line at the ready as they start to make yeah. this approach. This is a dangerous play. And the fault line will be nullified and Frosty alone. Frosty gonna be able to get one. Can he get more? Fragment right next to him, but it's not enough. But he certainly gets the two players. In the, the idea was there, the scaling, there. working their way up in towards that A heaven side. It felt like the Knights, they were ready for it again, right? They had good control. They knew that it was coming towards the A side. Ban posted up in mail room, and again, Here. just a solo play from Ziff towards B with his camera. This is a tricky, tricky first half if you are Sonics. They will try another pop in towards heaven once more, and it feels like, again, this is another telegraph play. Gangs has got fault line, no stars dropped just yet, but a third player in rotation, and Bans got such aggressive take over here towards A main that they know this hit was going to come. Even though there's still a trip there, Sonics has no clue that PK has all this information. Two players holding on with a vice-like grip over in heaven, and Ziff. Finishing off B main, no one else is going to be coming in that direction. Instead, it's going to be all three players for Sonics trying to spill their way out of heaven. And indeed, they're walking in. Oh, okay. They were walking into the crossfire, but Frosty actually not able to get anything. There goes Zip. Another aggressive look here from Scuba towards this mid side. He's going to throw that same Viper's Wall alongside the Poison Orb. And well, that's going to open up this mid side for him quite nicely. Ban will be forced to back away. This will give Miniature this control. Okay, a battle between these areas. And oh. I was going to find Scuba through a sliver on this left side of mid. That will give them mid control. So early control established here from the Sonic side, and it's looking good so far, right? You see the pivot back. Mm -hmm. Ants played a lot deeper here yeah, towards Elbow. Anx is trying to play towards Heaven just in case they want to make this wrap up towards Ramp. And so info has been revealed, and they're just going to oh make this game my... stack, it looks like. Look at PK. All four players going up to B. Easily, you could get at least one player over an A to try to clear that solo clear. But again, I don't think they want to ever do solo clears. For sure, they have zero clue that they have all of that space. And that kill from heaven is going to come in. Again, Sonics, they could have gotten completely trapped over on B. But again, I, I could have never predicted this. Ion is actually still going out on A completely solo, considering that there's no contact early. So there you go. Sonics do indeed have A. But what's next for them? You know, let's see if PK even want to attempt this retake now that they've realized. Oh, they might. Spike is going down towards it. They just have the rolling Surely. thunder to play with. Ion in very deep control, though. We'll see if he's going to be able to find any early frags to kick off this post plane. He's even got a smoke to immediately escape into. If, the question is if Gangsta, they can get this control. They can set up the rolling thunder, but you look at the positions. It's planted for heaven. There's one even flanking. There's one on the wrap already. What? Ion's going to get this kill, but there's still one in heaven. The and trap wire is the only thing keeping him back at this point in time. This rolling thunder, how much impact is it going to find? Because there's still Bob in heaven. Here we go. There's still one over towards Ramp, but he goes down instantly. Uh, apologies. A heaven as well. The mm -hmm. only thing keeping her back was that trap wire. So second round here for Sonic. Still enough credits to buy up here for the PK side. Denial of info, at least for the time being. But Crunchy is going to seal it right back. So B main will be taken up. The only area this time is vacated from both these sides is the direct opposition of mid ban again just passively holding with this operator as sonics have stolen away a little bit of control towards both a and towards b but they don't exactly know where they want to go they even have a double op setup so this is where things mm -hmm. get peculiar on your setups because bob he has the rolling thunder <laughs> bob the breach with the knob and like you said rolling thunder on but i don't really see this getting that much mileage sully don't miss, really? shot. Just don't miss your shot. Just don't miss your shot. Nah, just don't miss your shot, right? It has to be that easy, right? So Bob, on that front side, is just going to maintain that longer view over towards B. But again, Sonics, they aren't making any sort of those uh, those moves that we were seeing a whole lot more earlier over in the half. Just trying to get as much map control as possible. But the only player actually doing this is Miniature. Yeah. In a good place to do so. He definitely has a good gun to do so. 
Definitely just needs that pick over in heaven to oh, actually make this what? worth it. But Bob going in, not going to be able to nail the shot. And Gangsta still actually gets it. Yeah. Everyone else from Sonics still back in B main. Out finally they go, but nobody from BK is actually watching this, or at least intently in the middle of sight. Ban still over in heaven. He had an opportunity with a shot, but it's not going to hit. Now it has to come down to a 3v4, but it's only two players in the middle of this site. Jason gets caught out in the open. Ian, you need to play time. You need to wait for miniature, and he's going to go down. That is it for the round. The defuse will 100% percent go in pittsburgh knights now you have another buy back here for round number 11 a very early viper speed coming out here towards this b main area that's gonna clog it up and that should force either the pivot back towards mid and ban is waiting with open arms with the operator as the rest of sonics approach the a site steadily and slowly so much util here to hold them back however Teleport ready. A gift. Here. It's the approachment that's not going to catch anything over towards A. We were saying again the pressure for PK. Just off of the contact. But again, them abandoning mid completely, not having any sort of tripwire, actually covering up that elevator no. spot. They're forced to keep someone on that contact in the back of heaven. But Frosty, this, we've seen this. this play happen so many times before. But again, what's going to be the catalyst of it? I see they are thinking of the rolling thunder, but it's just going to be that fault line actually going in. Frosty, grab weld in the back. Oh, no way. Still able to get the shot. How many more can Frosty get? That's it. Only one person in the back of sight, though. It's going to be that Cypher that has an absolutely amazing angle. Sip going to be a able to get one. A one way through the cage, but nothing. What a great one way setup, though. 3v3. Sonic's trying to hold on. Gangster without you till at this point in time. I mean, Scuba has one singular snake bite, but he's watching the flank. I mean, there's been a flank so many rounds in the past here. Inks quiet down his miniature. He's holding back towards a heaven. Oh, he's this got is the it. Cross. Oh no, Scuba should be going down here in a second. Oh, oh the smoke! <gasps> The cross will this be denied, peak? but a null command. It's going to go down here in a second, and instead, Miniature's taking a 50-50 angle. He's going to win the 50-50 oh angle. The coin flip has gone in his favor. Heads or tails, they swing, and the heads are being popped at this point in time. Ban, oh, ban. just trying to put on the pressure. It's down to the one double versus smoke. one. He knows where Miniature's going to be at, and you're right. Double smoke goes down. And it, three rifles set up for Sonic, and it's a Hail Mary into the safe sight from the play. looks of things. Torda Force comes out. Three players already here. Knife will stun at least two of them. That doesn't nullify the Astro Utah. They're going to try and get something down here. Crunchy. Smokes will be pinged out. I think that might have actually been the cam being pinged out here as Bob. Just trying to take it down. Does alleviate that pressure from that camera. So, not a direct line of sight. But this is at least Sonic slowing down. But the Rolling Thunder. I don't know if it's actually going to make a connection onto Zip here in this corner. Miniature looking for any trap wires. A minute left. Sonics have made so much noise, but they've cut it at this point in time. But they know where this hit is coming from. Ban has already posted up so deep into B main that there's no worry that this is going back the other way. You even have Gangster with a fault line. Double flash is ready in case anything were to pop in towards heaven. This is the play, and it's about to come through. So here we go. Sonics had this opportunity earlier, but the Rolling Thunder was locked down early. So doesn't here we go. Scuba going to be able to get the first, and he's not Rolling Thunders. He's not hit. There's still one in the middle. And like you said, Ziff, not stunned by any means. The player in sight, he's not stunned anymore either. Ziff, how does he get anything out of this? Escaping certain death as he takes down two. Ian, however, equalizing the round. He does a good job at least making it a two on two, but now he has to deal with a one on two. Ban and Gangsta both coming in from heaven. A oh, Ian repositioning himself back over towards Elbow. Gangsta saw him, but he's still looking for a bit more of a double, drop. Double the first double there goes the double! The double drop in! You know, based on what Ascent was, yep. the comeback here in the second half for Sonics, it's... He was almost faded. Early fault line here to give Ban control, and I don't know if this is going to draw any rotation, but the dude is literally running in with a shorty. All right, then. Fault line to try and counter back here. At least any aggression that he wants to go for the wrap, and it's miniature. Miniature has to go big, and he's already found one. That's first blood drawn here on the B-bomb site. Not enough to delay here as another player crosses. Scuba looking for this trade desperately. Oh, definitely looking for more, but he still had two bullets, but Scuba's another. still able to take him down. Bob drops in. Crunchy actually able to get a kill on his rotation in back from mid, and Bob with a massive kill. That's going to make things a bit more oh. possible, isn't it? But Scuba with a couple of pumps to the face of Crunchy makes this one a 2v2. 42 HP for Scuba. He knows that his low the lower bracket is going to wait some if they can't win out this round in the Pittsburgh Knights. They know it as well. They're just going to play it a little bit slower. Knife goes out early on towards the A side. Doesn't connect here or onto Ziff. Even we'll pull his cam back, or actually might have been broken, I'd imagine. 
The miniature, a very aggressive deep angle. He's using this Viper's Wall to at least give him this control for now. And yeah, PK, they're waiting for anyone for Sonics to stomp their way down and try and find an early fight. Very smart, PK. Very smart. Jason. Trying to guarantee this bit by bit, angle by angle. And Jason in mid. He's going to put up a bit of a fight, but the damage isn't there. Miniature. Lucky to be alive. Down to less than 10, 15 HP ish. Now he's all the way back into B. Still has to play up in B main. He's still going to fight his absolute hardest with that Hand Hunter. But for the rest of PK, they've just taken this control and they are sitting in their current positions. 40 seconds left and they're just looking for picks. But Miniature starts it off well. Oh, man. Oh! He's going to get denied. Ion. No Finding way. a critical kill is going to bring this one back towards this mid side. He's locked down Elevator for now. And Frosty. Very weird to the fact that they could left. double back on him. PK side, Frosty, just looking to s finally end over here towards the B-bomb site. But a lot of util being dropped here as Crunchy lining up two off of that growl. Well, things are getting dicey here now as Gangsta slipping through the smoke with 10. But PK right. over towards the mid side, they're actually looking again with just the pistols just for something really quick. And we'll see if they can get anything going. Maybe a quick burst here into the B side. That seems to be option numero uno. Ian. Yeah. Playing close up. Gravel's not going to give too much. He does have the cage here as well. If contact maybe it's a little bit too happy. Oh, oh. Bob. She's going to do this one nicely. So I think we kind of expected this round to go for the side yeah. of Sonics. Just trying to keep it a prime gaming flaws at this point in time. Five guns up. Oh, we're going to see how some of that mid interaction actually goes down because we're just going to see the differing styles. We didn't see a lot of aggression from PK whatsoever over towards that mid position. Only really once that we ended up seeing from Scuba. But we can surely see some fireworks from Bob. Bob is going to have one counter flashback. Doesn't actually blind anybody, unfortunately, as yeah. they pull that star back. There's a trap wire and a cam right above, and it looks like Ian is just sitting on it. He's getting so much information. He's forced him into this gravel as well. Perfection. Oh, my goodness. Peaking? Does it get a kill? No, it doesn't. He's going to force them back, though, but that's a lot of util expended. And with a minute left, the Pittsburgh Knights, they can retake this position. There is still Absolutely. that trap wire to play against, though. Yeah, no fault line though. No more flashes for Bob. For Bob, this down. is just trying to hold it down dry and definitely not going to be able to do so. A little bit of damage done onto Ban. And that's the extent of it. And look at that. PK, they take the one kill. They immediately back out. Now they're just trying to find another interaction to try to overwhelm. They still don't know that cam's there. So, I mean, Sonic's... Right. They know that this, this mail room, at least for now, is going to be completely clear. Jason's going to pivot back. Over towards the A side because of the fact the cam is getting nothing, but it's all an illusion. It's up to Ion with a Spectre and a little bit of U to the hold this back. They do have a star posted up. Gravel is ready here, but no, it's been pulled instead to a smoke. It's not going to delay them. Uh oh. And he's even been pulled back. He's still sinking in his cam. Ion now coming <laughs> off of it finally is going to slip into his cage and do what he can to hold them off. Oh, Ian, here we go, my friend. Spectre on the front lines. Knights have full control of sight. Ion can't get a kill. So Sonics now recollect themselves. There's only three players to try to make this one back. These players, not a lot of utility though. Crunchy has no stars. Jason has a whole lot, but they're running out of bodies. Zip with a massive kill onto Miniature in Heaven. It's gonna leave Crunchy and Jason in such a difficult position. They could absolutely fight this and try to make this one a battle to the very end. But instead, yeah. they're gonna hold on to their guns. Even though they definitely have the credits for it going into the next round. Completion on multiple ultimates for both of these sides. Sonics. Their upper bracket run here on the line. As the Knights one round away from qualification. And it's a slow one. The Knights not going to establish any early control right off a rip. They're posted up. They're just trying to get the orb. But imagine here for Scuba to pop here. But miniature. This is the heroics you want. Here we go. Make or break time miniature. Four pixels in front of him. Four pixels to aim at. Let's see if he can knock him down. The first body is going to be that jet. He spots the foot, oh, but not going to be able to nail onto Gangsta. He misses, but still able to TP back. What's the rest now? You still have one player in the middle of sight. That's going to be Ion that has to hold on. How can he hold on? He's playing around. He's dancing around the cage. Nobody is going through. Knights taking their time. They let the util go down. Miniature going to be able to get one. Dancing through the pillar. Can he get a second off the hand hunter? No, he cannot. PK. Viper's pick goes in. Plant will be able to go down. Two players now remaining. How does this one end up? Jason going in, looking for heroics. He goes down. Crunchy, the last man remaining to try to give Sonics a chance here in the winner's bracket. But PK, they're using it all. 
Rolling Thunder to put Crunchy six feet deep all the way back into his own spawn. Oh, come on. This gotta be it. PK of one player in heaven. Waiting up for a contact. The tripwire is not gonna go off. Crunchy is just looking for any sort of space. Finally goes to the tripwire. Finally goes and takes down Ziff. Three players in the pit. Scuba sliding into that back line. Again, he is the Viper. 